Hey, Rowell here. Uh, I want to make a video on converting a Bridgeport True Trace into a CNC system. Uh, so I got this whole system, as you see it's here, um, for about $750 at an auction. Um, it was a pain ass to bring over here. I got a bunch of other equipment also at that auction. Uh, but this, this, this machine was my number one thing that I really wanted. Um, and at the time, I had no clue what a true trace system was. Um, all I knew was that it was a bridge port with a very long bed. Um, and as I, you know, as, as time was going closer uh, to the bit to the auction uh, ending, I re uh, looked up online, tried to learn more about the true trace system, and there really was not much information. Um, there was a bunch of forum posts and people saying, "Avoid it, don't buy it, it's a waste of money," blah blah blah, um, because at the at, because of things that I'll now explain. So the reason why a lot of people say to avoid um, buying these, and this was primarily one I noticed on the auction went uh, on the lower side. Again, I got it for $750. Uh, there was one other one which was a lot smaller that went for $500, but otherwise the other ones went for around uh, one and a half grand, two grand. One almost went for three grand, and that one had a um, uh, DRO system. Pretty much it tells exactly the position of it. Um, which I found ridiculous because, again, for less than a grand, you can easily convert these into a full-out CNC system, which is what I'm going to attempt. Um, and because that's, that's my expertise is making and, you know, uh, CNC machines, 3D printers, CNC plastic cutters, etc., lathes. Um, so it, it just puzzled me why a lot of people, um, you know, went, uh, didn't, didn't want to get this. And... As I uh, went to the auction and met other people, I realized that the reason why is because most people are not good with CNC machines. They're you know older and they're um, you know they have a hard time opening up a, a email. Um, so obviously for them, you know, they want something that's basic, manual, old school that they can just you know um, spin a spin a wheel and it moves. Um, in my case, I like to do 3D modeling, CAD. Fusion 360, you know, I, I don't I don't like to have to sit stand there and you know uh, Wiggle around a machine. I like to just uh, throw quickly dirty model uh, Click a button and boom it, it does the rest of its job so anyways um, So yeah, that's the issue is that again typically there'd be a wheel here It's just a hydraulic cylinder hydraulic cylinder over there, you know hydraulic cylinders everywhere um, and they, It also came with a huge huge hydraulic pump um, and a bunch of other uh, machines, cooling systems, etc. Actually, the hydraulic pump was almost like three horsepower. Uh, funny enough, the spindle is only one horsepower. Um, so, you know, the hydraulic system to control all this is, is it's a beast. Um, and another thing I want to mention about these, uh, the Chuche system is, you know, again, I got it for 750 but just this head right here, uh, sorry for the poor lighting, I'll be upgrading my lights pretty soon. Um, just this one, you know, thing right here goes for like three hundred dollars on ebay used um so you know it's again i'm i'm in the rest of the part so this um what this guy used uh, um, the um the the, the there's a guy that was going to retire uh into, into retirement and pretty much he used this machine just to make uh these cams um there's this there's this thing right here that mounted right there i disconnected it and pretty much um this was Connect to this piece, which is on a spring. Um, pretty much, it'd go like here. It followed this cam um, and create a copy in, uh, over here. So that's what a true trace system uh, is pretty much designed to do: is you uh, create a, a template and it will just make copies over and over, over and over. Um, actually, with this one, because of the head is so big, you can have multiple spindles and you can make multiple copies. Um, which again, it's interesting back in the day before we didn't have CNC machines, but now we have computers They're dirt cheap um, and you could do this all on a computer instead. Uh, it also comes with these rotary tables So this again spins uh, there is a gear pump over here that kind of broke uh, while moving um, and yeah, I mean it's It's a great design system, but again, it's it makes no sense for this time and era. So I've met, finally managed to get all the stuff off and uh, this and that table disconnected. And uh, another thing I want to mention is uh, these tables can be used as a fifth axis. 
uh, or fourth axis, axis, you know, these, I mean, they're amazing. They, these uh, smaller ones, uh, similar to these, were going for a couple hundred dollars on auction, so, I mean, just, just by the parts alone, you know, all the accessories that come with this easily paid off um, the machine for itself, so, I mean, obviously, I'd, I'd have to put in new linear rails and stuff, but again, they're cheap, you know, you can get them uh, for, I mean, probably, uh, I... I found a, a linear rail for this this length. Uh, I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks. So, you know, again, not not too big of a deal. Uh.